Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and I am doing a video today on making the mini album that goes into our 3D camera. So um, I have already made this camera and it's got the little shaker lens and it opens in the back and has room for a um, mini album. It's a five page mini album. And it holds six by four photos. This is the album itself, and we're going to make a version of this today. So um, this holds six by four photos um, really easily in this spot. I've designed it to hold six by four photos, and this is um, a three by four photo. So as, as is this, so it will fit on these flaps, and we can also tuck it in places like that. Um, it's got lots of little flips and belly bands and pockets and things like that. So we're going to make this today. So let me pop that to the side. Um, so this is the camera that I've made um, as a tutorial on YouTube and I'm going to be making the mini album to go in this one today. So this one's also pretty cute. Uh, I used um, Nitwits Collections photogenic paper for this. So Nitwits Collections, you can download the um, paper and all the ephemera online. And I used my set of SVG files to make this camera. This is the inside and we're gonna make the mini album to go in there today. So as I say, the camera and the mini album I've made using a set of SVG files and this little booklet comes with a set of SVG files. Well, not the booklet itself, but um, the printouts of these pages so that you can make up your own little booklet if you'd like to. Um, these are screenshots of each of the files so I can easily tell you which pieces I've cut out. The pieces in blue are the pieces that I've cut out of cardstock and the pieces in pink that are sitting on top are the mats so you can cut that out of um, whatever paper that you're using. So I'm using this downloadable scrapbook paper from Knitwits and that's what I'm using to mat everything. So I've already done the camera as I said on video and I will try and remember to link it to this. Um, if you're interested in this set of SVG files they are available in my Etsy store and um, I'll put the link for that down below as well. And SVG files are scalable vector graphic files for electronic cutting machines. I use a Cricut but you can also use them on Brother scanning carts and Silhouette Cameos and those types of cutting machines that can use SVG files. Okay so let's get started. We're going to start by making the base pages today. So it's a five page album so we need five pages but they are side insert or pocket pages. So we're actually going to cut out 10 of these E1 pockets. So I've worked ahead a little bit because I'm hoping that um, we can do this in the least amount of time as possible. I've already made two of these um, pocket pages so that they're like this. And I'm going to make one more plain one like that with you. So for this one, I have cut out two of these base pages. Now I've mistakenly called them both E1, but <laughs> I'm doing the first E1, <laughs> not the second E1. So I've actually cut out two of these already out of my black cardstock. So let's just pop this to the side and I wanna show you how these go together. So what we will do to make the pocket is simply take two of these, um, flip them over and join them together. So they have the tab on each long side so that we can do that. But we don't need this tab here on this one. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but there are two score lines. There's one here and one here. And I'm just going to cut off this tab on just one of these pages um, along this score line. So uh, this is the only cutting that I whoops, have to do is just cutting off the tabs that I don't need. So I'm just going to line up my score line that my Cricut has handily already put there for me and trim that tab, tab off and that is that. So then I'm just going to fold these two tabs over and we need some glue. Today I'm using this Helmer Tiger Grip glue which is really easily to, easy to get in Australia. Um, I don't know. Um, 
you use the glue that you like to use basically this is really good for the construction bit and then I use something different for my mats <clears throat> excuse me okay so I want to make sure that this bit here and this bit here are lined up on the same side and then I'm just going to I'm just going to line these up and put them down I'm just going to pick it up this black cardstock I'm finding really tricky to deal with in this light and I know it's also not the best for video tutorials um, but I don't know this camera just looks perfect with this with this black cardstock so yeah okay so then when I've done that I'm just going to fold this tab over and glue down the edge here as well and fold that one over and line it up make sure it's pretty well lined up it's not great sometimes if I um, if I don't fold my score lines very well um, I have to trim it off a little bit but you know you, you would take more time to do this when you're at home and not being filmed. Okay, so that's one little pocket page. And then I'm just going to fold this little guy back. Um, this is the one that we cut that tab off and put a bit of glue along there. And fold that one over. I'll just use my little rag to wipe off the glue. When I'm happy with that, that a page so the only other thing now well this way we can see there's our little pocket page the only thing I'm going to do now is put a line of um, double sided tape along here so that will help us when it comes to inserting this into our binding and that is our most basic pocket um, or base page it's our most basic base page <laughs> Um, and I, for my album I'm doing three of these but of course you can make any combination you like so there's my three base basic base pages then I have cut out some more let's do this one for this one I have cut out one of these E1 top E1s and then one of the bottom E1s. I really <laughs> should have changed that but it's too late now. Okay so here's this basic one here, this top base page and then this is the bottom one so you can see that I've cut it out so that it looks like um, a film that goes through your camera. I thought that was pretty apt for the fact that it sits in the camera. It's a bit mucky uh, and then the pink mat underneath, E4, I've cut that out of um, plastic. So I've actually used a laminator pouch because um, I don't have any acetate. But you use whatever you've got. So I just ran my laminator pouch through my laminator with nothing in between it. So and it's, One thing about it is it's quite nice and sturdy. But it, it is a little bit on the cloudy side. But I can live with that. So for this page... We have got, as you can see, we've got tabs on this page on both sides. So I'm going to cut this long tab off this page. And then on this page, I'm going to cut that tab off there. Because we don't need both of those tabs. Okay, let's do that. So again, I'm just going to line up my score line. Whoop. Got the wobble today. And trim that one off. And then I'm going to cut this long tab off here. We don't need all of these tabs. Just trim that off. Throw that in the bin. I've got a little bin beside me. It's absolutely overflowing. So for this one, all I'm going to do is fold both of these guys over and glue it down onto this one. Now, 
I will be able to see my little tabs through here, but what I'm going to do when I get to the a matting stage is slide a mat in here so that you won't be able to see that. And I have done it on this album and I didn't have any problems getting that little mat in. So let me show you. It was, someone keeps getting hooked up on here. It's one of my, it's this little flower. I need to stick that bit down. Oh, this one here. So if I pull the insert out, you can see that I put the mat down underneath and I didn't have any problem sliding it in there at all. So um, that's just what I needed to do. I can't get my mat in there now. There we go. Just slides in like that. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on these two tabs. Oh, I should mention how I stuck this on here, um, this bit of... Um, laminate pouch. Let's just call it plastic, shall we? I have this really fine liner um, bottle that I've put glue in. So you can see it's got a really like a needle point. So I just run it all the way around the inside edges here, down each of these little bits here, and then a quick line all the way around. Then just stick my laminated pouch, my, cla my clear plastic on top, and wait till it's dried. That's it. That's all I needed to do. Um, I just went ahead and did that to save a bit of time. Okay, so let's put some glue on these tabs. Like so. And then um, I'm just going to spin this around. Hopefully it will be easier for me to do it this way. I'm just going to line that up. Line that up. I do how'd I do not bad okay I'm gonna give it a really good burnish and so it stays in place okay and then when I'm happy with that I'm just going to turn that little tab back again put some glue on that one and flatten that out Then, a bit of glue there, I need to put some um, double sided tape on here as well. So let's do that one. Put a bit of tape across this tab. And trim it off. Badly turned out. Let's just have a look at that. That might make it a little bit difficult to get into our binding, so I will just trim that off. Now it's stuck to my scissors. Okay, and then I'll just get that a burnish down. Okay, so that's our fourth page, and then our last page is going to be two of those clear pocket pages. Oh, stuck up here. Whoops. So here I have cut out two of these pages down here, these these other E ones. <laughs> and I've done the same thing. I've cut out the E4 mat out of my clear plastic and I have already attached it to the inside of both of those guys. Okay. So this page is just going to be this completely see-through page that I have in here. This one here, so when I pull the mat out, you can see clear through. So that's what we're doing, okay? So, and, and I've obviously put the mat um, so that it's matted on both sides, which I don't do very often, so go me. <laughs> okay, so for this guy, we do not, if you fold these little tabs over, you can see through the little dots here, the little holes our little slide holes so I can't I can see a tiny bit I'm going to just trim that off because I don't want to see that okay so on one of these I'm going to 
just line this up and trim a little bit off. Let's see if that will be enough. Oop. Trim that off. If I fold that over, is that enough? Not quite. I need to cut just a sliver more than that off. Okay, just a sliver more. I don't want to cut too much off because I still want to tab. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, so now I can't see that at all on that side, so brilliant. And what about this side? Just a tiny little sliver off this side will do the trick. Like so. Okay, that's great. Then I'm also going to cut off one of those tabs again because we only need one of those tabs for each um, pocket page. So I'll just trim that one off. And that can go away. And then on this one, I'm going to cut these two side tabs off completely. We don't need those guys. So let's line that up. Oh, I should not have bent these over. I find it much easier to trim off along the score line when I haven't already folded it over. But we shall persevere. I just think it gives a nicer edge, but that doesn't look too bad. Okay, and this one. Cannot see that score line. At all down here, where are you? Okay, not sure about it. We might need to trim that off a bit with our scissors. Okay, so then we can just attach this one to this one by these two tabs in exactly the same way that we did with our other base pages. So I'm just going to run a bit of glue along there. Uh, Try not to use too much so that it doesn't end up all over my plastic. Best laid plans and all that. I'm, I'm hopeless at uh, using too much glue, so um, there's a fair chance I'll have oozy glue. Okay, so then I'm just going to flip this one over, making sure that I've got this side tab here um, in line with these two. And I'm going to line it up, try and hold that down, line it up. And I will need to fix up this edge a little bit, I think. And then I'm going to try and line up. I'm trying to also line it up with the holes here. So I hope I haven't been too slow with that. I'm just because I want it to look good once it's once you can't see anything inside it as well. Okay, that looks good. Squash her down. Squash her down. And that looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to have to, I feel, yeah, I need to cut off this whole little bit off here, which is what I couldn't see in the light. And because I had already folded that that score line over, which I should not have done, but I'll yeah, just trim it off like so. And that is our last base page. A little bit of stuff stuck to it. Okay, and then we just also need to do this edge piece here. I forgot about that. Let's fold that over and put a bit of glue on here. We'll fold it down. Wipe that messy glue off. Okay, and then of course a bit of double sided tape on here. Like so. Flip it over. Trim it off. And get that a burnish. Uh, ready to go with our three different types of base pages. So we have this one, which is a completely see-through see-through window pocket. 
And we have this one, which is a, a sort of a half see-through window pocket. And then we have our three base ones like so. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a base page. Then I'm going to have the completely clear page. Then I'm going to have another one of these. Then I might have this one that way and then this one that way. Right. That's how I'm going to have them all. So I'll just pop that to the side. Now let's have a look at the cover. I have already made the cover because... You know, all I've done is cut out the pieces. Um, I've used some masking tape. I actually used the masking tape on this side to hold them together and it's got that tiny little gap in the spine. So the pieces I've cut out for the cover was one of the D1s, which is this guy here, the spine, and then two of the D2s, which is these two guys here, the cover. So then I've just covered it up with some paper. Sorry, just need to rearrange myself here. Okay, I've covered it up with some of my paper. Now my paper was not long enough to do the whole thing. So you can see there's a join down the middle. But when I come to my embellishing, I will cover that spine up like I have with this one. I did the same thing here. So I covered the whole thing with this hound's tooth. And I had my line down the middle, so then I've just put this um, extra piece of um, the um, scrapbook paper on the top, and it also, you know, reinforces your spine a little bit. So that's what I'll do, but I'll do that later. So now we're going to put our pages in um, our cover, and we need our binding pieces for that, which I've already cut out. So these two pieces here. Um, I should mention I ha have got a list of all the pieces that I've used and I'll put that list for this um, video in the description box so that you don't have to be madly trying to remember and write down all the pieces that I've used. And I have a bit of a mud map, this is my sort of mud map of how each of my pages are going to be laid out. So I will also put that in the, I'll, I'll put this list of pieces for each page that I've used in the um, description box okay so we'll just put that there so I can refer to that okay so for the binding I have cut out one of these d3s out of card stock and that's this one here and I have covered it on both sides with um, double-sided contact now I have these big sheets of it so I just cut my little pieces out and stuck it on each side if you don't have that my dog's wants to come in sorry mate you'll have to wait he's going to make, he's going to make you feel bad if you don't have that you can just line it on each side with your double-sided tape and it's not a big piece so it won't be it won't take too long so that's one d3 and then i've cut out this piece here this d4 piece but i haven't done the mats yet i've just cut this out of cardstock so this is my d4 and you can see that it's got these little um, slots in here and that's where we're going to insert our pages. So that's all we need for the binding. We've done the cover. So the first thing I've done, and you can see I've already done this, but I'll show you, is um, I've just laid out my binding piece um, on the center of my spine. I've tried to work out where, so I've found the center of my spine here and the center of this piece here is that middle um, the middle um, cut line. So I've just lined up my cut line with my center line on my spine and when I've been happy with where that's sitting I've just come along with my pencil and just marked out some little spots here so that it's easy for me to pop it back in place when I've done it. Okay so then um, we're going to take, we'll put that cover to the side. I just wanted to do that bit first um, while our bit of binding is nice and flat. So for each of these pages now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my bit of um, backing off my double-sided tape. I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick on there just to give myself a bit of time for it to get into place. And then I've got my little hooky tool. You use whatever you've got. I'm just going to lift it up slide and slide it under here. I'm going to line, up, line it up where I feel like it needs to sit. Like it's been tricky. 
like so and then I'll just flatten it out and that's what I'm going to do for each one of these pages so um, I might speed it up because we do have five of them let's do the first one in real time and then maybe I'll speed up the rest okay so I'm going to pull my backing off my double-sided tape like so and put down a bit of glue stick then I'm going to pick up this guy here and slide my page underneath might need to pick up both of those little bits there I'm going to line it up so it's sitting nice and neat and flush like that and then I'm just going to gently press that down I'll go, come back at the end and press them all down really hard I'm just going to do that for each one of these, so let's just do one more. Pull that backing off. Come on, back in. Okay. A little bit of glue. Pull up that next section. I'm going to pull up both of them. Slide it under there. And line it up so it's sitting nicely with the trying to line it up like so just make sure that it's sort of sitting with my previous page quite nicely when I'm happy with that I'm just going to press it down lightly okay so I will go ahead and do this for the other three pages and then we'll come back and we will do the next part okay so I have now inserted my five pages into my binding as and you can see that I've got those little tabs all going along there like so and so now we need to put this in our album but the first thing we're going to do is take our little d3 piece and I have just gone ahead and marked my center line on here and I'm just going to flip this guy over I might spread him out a little bit so make sure he's sitting nice and flat and I'm going to take the sticky off the back of this one I'm going to try Come on, sticky. There we go. Take the sticky off there. I shall put a little bit of glue stick on here just to give myself a bit of time. Okay. And then I'm just going to try my best to line up that center line that we used before when we were sorting out our uh, cover and lay this down on here from top to bottom now if we do not get the top and bottom bit right which I invariably do not um, we can just trim it okay I think I'm happy with oh, got a wobble on there uh, let's check that okay let's stick it down give it a good burnish let's have a look at that and then we're just gonna um, I'm just gonna come along and run my bone folder along each little gut what is it called gusset here make sure that it's really well adhered all right and that one and then i think i have to go back this way and do each of those make sure that's really well attached i'll just run it down my side along here and my side along here now I can see that I'm hanging out a little bit there, so I'm just going to trim that off. Oh, it's pretty good though. Let's trim that little bit off. There we go. So again, stop my scissors. Okay, so this is my back section. Now, I'm a little worried that this little guy here, this little tab here is poking out past here. I don't really want that to be the case. Uh, I wonder if I can pull it off. I reckon if I got my finger under there. Now this is probably not the best way to show you, but I um 
I just want to make sure that this doesn't interfere with my spine at all. So I'm just going to fold that back a little smidge. And of course, you know, you're seeing me do this and you can, so you can think, oh, I'll just trim a little bit off that tab before I put it down. And that would be the idea <laughs> rather than trying to do it like this. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Maybe a little bit more. Just don't want to make any mistakes putting it into the book. Okay, I think I'm happy now. Right, okay. So then we can bring out our album cover, make sure it's the right way up. Make sure our pages are in the right order that we want. And what we're going to do is now stick this bit of um, our binding with our pages down onto our cover, lining up those marks that we have already handily put in place. Okay, so when we're happy with that, I'm going to pull this cover off, like so, nice and easy. This time I'm also going to use some wet glue because this is holding the whole of our book into... Um, the cover and we don't want this to come up so I'll just go crazy with the glue like so Oop. and I'm going to put it all over of course I'm going to have glue oozing out but uh, that's okay all right, so then I'm going to pin my whole piece up. I'm going to hold it like this. That glue is going to give us a bit of wiggle time. Okay, so now I'm going to line this corner up and this corner up and make sure that these are lined up as well. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to give it a, give it a press. Oh, I've got glue on my fingers. Okay, this is good. Okay, and then I'm just going to, again, burnish everything down nice and firmly. Make sure that that binding piece is well adhered to my page, uh, to my page, to my cover. And that's it. Like so. Get the glue marks off. Press this down. Press this down. Okay, then, wish I hadn't got that glue there. Never mind. Um, I'm just going to run along the crease line in our um, cover to find that crease in the um, binding piece as well. Clean that up. Run that along there. Make sure it's really well stuck on both sides. And just give it a little push to make it bend. Okay. Pretty happy with that. I have done a better job before, but you know, that'll be fine. Okay, and then we'll just do the same on this side. Make sure we're happy with that. And this side is where I had that little tab that's sticking out a bit, so let's hope I've avoided any disaster there. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, so in fact the back worked out not more nicely than the front. Wouldn't you know it? But that's okay because that's what matting and embellishing are for, covering up any little boo-boos. So we have our five pages in our binding and now in our cover. See that does look a little, looks a little bit off, but I reckon I can fix that up. Okay, so there we have our five pages sitting in there like so there we go ok 
Okay, so then I would come along and put a mat on here. So this is my cover D2 piece. So if we have a quick look in here, you will see that I have a D2 piece here and the mat is D7. So I will just cover this up. I will cut out the D7 mat and cover up the inside front and the inside back. And that will make that nice and neat. So now we're going to run through and do some layer on the pages. I'm going to do this a little bit differently from how I normally would. So normally I would do um, a video for each page, but this is an, a much more simple album because we actually only have six pockets to choose from. And so those six pockets, I'm just gonna show you some different combinations that you can use with the pockets. So the pockets are this one here, D5, and that's on camera file four. And then these five pockets here on file six. So you'll notice with the pockets, I have put tabs all the way around on each of the pockets. And the reason that I have done that is so that you can use it in any combination of ways that you might like to. Um, and But all we do is just trim off the tabs that we don't want to and we can make it from a pocket to a flip or um, from a pocket to a belly band, that sort of thing. So I have already gone ahead and cut off the tabs of each of the pieces. So let me show you what I've done. I've already cut out all my pieces here and arranged which ones I think are gonna go on each page. The ones that have got the um, laminate um, plastic on, I have already attached that. And I've already cut the tabs off each piece, but I will, I will, as I say, put a list in the description box of each piece I'm using for each page. And as we go through, I'll show you which tabs I've cut off. And I think that'll be the quickest way to do it. And I'm not gonna mat um, during this video uh, either. I'll do the matting and then I'll do another video showing you what it looks like when it's finished. Page one, let's leave this open to the pockets so that I can show you which ones I've used. Okay, so for page one, we have, this is actually a base page, so I've cut out this E1 base page and I've cut the side tabs off here, both side tabs off here. So this is now a flip, a full size flip. And I have got two of those, so I'm going to attach um, one here and one here, okay, so that they'll flip out like that. Then I have also cut out two of these F1 pieces so that they had tabs all the way around. I've cut off three of the tabs and just left one tab here. And this is actually square, so it doesn't matter which three tabs you cut off. I have two of those and they are going to be side flips. Then I've also cut out this F2 piece here and I've also already um, put the plastic um, mat on here, the F7 mat, and I've cut one tab off there. So this is going to be a pocket. And then this guy here is F4. So I'm going to make this, it could be a pocket, but I'm gonna make it into a belly band. So I've cut off the long tab on each side and I've already put the laminator um, mat on the lamination or the plastic mat on the back. Okay, so now we just need to build our pages. So it's super easy. I'm just going to run some glue along the tab and line this up on the bottom of my page. Try to, anyway, let me flip it around so I can see. Like so. Okay, pretty happy with that. Let's have a look. Finish it down. And so now the base page has become a flip. Super easy. Glue everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same with this one on the top. this one onto here. 
again sorry I have to flip it around so I can line it up because I just can't see from the angle okay off we go into line let's have a look at that okay so then we have flips coming out from the top and the bottom and these will hold a six by four photo so you know already we have lots of space on this page for photos um i've obviously got glue everywhere which is you know not unusual for me but that's okay because that's what matting is for in my world anyway so let's have a look at how did i go there that's fine Okay, so we've got to flip this way and we've got to flip this way, and then on the front, I want to have. I'm going to have a flip coming out from this side, so I'm just going to attach that on there, like so. So I'm just going to line that up with the edge of my page like so oops and so I could either have it flip in like this and then flip up and then flip down or I could have it I could have it like this I just need to give that a bit of a burnish I could have it like this I'm not sure. I might have it like that. That could be interesting. Okay, and then I want to have this pocket here, and I think I'm actually going to attach this to the bottom here like so. So let's do that. It'll sort of hold everything into place, I think. Okay, so I'm going to just attach that one along here and along here. And I can already see that I have not cut along this line very well, so I might have to come back and trim that up again. So we have a page like so. Now this guy here is going to be a pocket on this one. So I'm just going to fold these three in. But because I'm not matting it, so now ideally, um, actually I can, I can slide my mat into this one. So we can just plonk that one on top like so and then when I'm matting I can just slide my mat in under there so let's do that and along here and here and then I'm going to line this up this one with this one like so like that make sure I'm happy with how it's lined up I can always come back and um, neaten up any of those edges if I didn't line up very well which I can see I didn't up here okay so that's that's a neat little flip pocket there now um, and then I think we'll have that one like that that one maybe like that and this one will fold over like so so that's pretty cool but this is going to be our belly band on our base page so did not line that up very well never mind I'll sort that out later so then this here is going to sit on there like so and what I might do is just attach it from one side for now because then I can flip it over lay my mat down oh no I do need to put it on both sides because it's laminated so I do need to put this whole thing here so that I can slide my mat in underneath it and I'll cover up these little tabs so let's do that I think I'll probably just guess the halfway point which really never works out that well for me but maybe there about there about there 
and then the oops. Okay. Like so. I've got glue underneath. Well done, Katie. See that? I'll have to come back. I'll, I'll wait till it's dry and then I'll just scrape it off. Is that, how's that? Did I center it? Oh, it feels like it's a little high on this side. How's that? Yes, that'll do. I'm happy with that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go fold in here, fold in here, here, and then over the top like that. So I might, when I'm mashing it, put a magnet here and a magnet on here so that that holds that down. I might actually put the magnet on the top so it doesn't interfere too much with any, any photo that I might put on that page. So that's our first page. Now, our second page. What did I have in mind? I have got two of the F1s, which again, I've only got one tab on them, so I must be planning on having a flip. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a flip from this side, maybe. Oh, you know, I can't even remember what I had in mind. I've got two of these. One of these is going to be a belly band on the bottom page, okay. And this is going to come from here. Maybe this one is going to go here. Okay, and then maybe this is going to be a pocket on here, like that. Uh, is that what I had in mind? <gasps> I don't even know. Or maybe, see this is, there's so many options, maybe I could have a flip coming from here, yeah, and then a flip coming from here, and one of these would be a belly band, and maybe this could be a pocket on here. So this is the D5 pocket, yeah, D5 pocket, and these are the F1 pockets, so I just need to decide where I want to put them. Should I do it like that? I feel like I want to do it like that. Let's go with that. Okay, so I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it as a flip from this side. Okay. Line that up. Try to anyway. And. And then this guy here, I mean we could have a, we could have it like that. This could flip out like that. And then this could flip out like that. This could be a bottom pocket on there and this could be a pocket on here or on here. Let's do that. See, so this is sort of how I work out what my pages are gonna be like. I just cut out the pieces and then I I have a little think about play a little play around. I don't think this is what I had in mind when I um, cut these pieces out for this page, but you know, we'll just roll with it. Could be interesting. Okay, so we have a flip from here and a flip from here. Then do I want this to be a pocket or a belly band? So many decisions. Can I have a belly band? I might have a pocket over here. No, pocket over here. It's easier to pull it out like that, I think, than like that. Okay, let's make this a pocket. So I'm going to fold down one of these tabs and fold it over. Okay, so that's going to be our pocket opening and that little tab really reinforces that nicely. And then we just need to put some glue on these remaining tabs. And this one. Too much glue, Katie. And I'm just going to pop this guy down on here. Like so. Make sure my flip flips. Okay, press it down. 
Yeah, I could have just made life easy for myself and not um, glued those tabs until after I put the mat down. But, you know, <laughs> too late now. <laughs> I was getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we have a pocket here. That's cool. And then let's flip this way and this, maybe I'll put the pocket here. I think that'll be nice. So let's make this another pocket. Whoops. So I'm going to glue this guy down to make our pocket opening. And then we'll put some glue on these tabs. I had some glue up here, it helped. There we go. This tab and this tab. Okay. And then I'm going to put that on here. Like so. And again, if I had just put the pocket, if I had just put glue on the long tab here, um, and then I could have matted much more easily. But <laughs> silly me! Get the furnish. And that's our second page. So we've got a pocket with a flip, and then we have a flip up, and then we have another pocket here. And you can see now how everything fits together so that you could keep building i mean i could put more f1s on here and it could open out this way it could open out that way you know the the sky is the limit in terms of what you want to do i just wanted to show you some ideas some basic ideas and then you could use your creativity and those pockets to make anything that you wanted the next page so we don't have to do anything on this page you know, I did put these in back to front because I was going to have that as my second page. What a goose. Oh well, so we don't have to do anything on this page. So we're on to this one. Oh, my goose. See, in this one I did it like this. So I had this first page here as a pocket and that's what we've done here. We've got that, but we have done it differently because I... I've added another flip on. Have I made it different? Yeah, I've got this top, this top flip here now that I don't have on that page. Okay, so that page was the same. And then this second page, I don't even know. Oh, this is what I did here, but this is different again. We could do one of those, um, but this one we're doing like this. Okay, and then, but then I had this, this clear <laughs> one, which is now at the back. So, yeah, that was good. Okay, so we do, but anyway, we don't need to do anything to that page. So then we can move on to the next one. And I feel like maybe you've got an idea now of how we can do each of the pages. And I'm really conscious that I don't want to make this video really long. So what I might do is go ahead and finish putting in these pieces for the rest of my pages, knowing that all I'm using is a combination of this pocket, this D5 pocket, these three pocket, um, three, these five pockets here, and then I'm also using the base page um, as a flip out where um, to give me some extra space. That's all I'm using. So I'm using a combination of the D5 the E1 and all of these pockets here and I'm just cut them out and I'm just well, as you can see making it up as they go along so I'm going to go ahead and I'll finish the rest of the album and because I don't want this to take forever and then I'll come back in another video and I'll show you how I put it together I'll also include a list of all the pieces that I'm using today to make these pages underneath so, and I'll also put it underneath the album where I um, show you when I've finished it so that you can go ahead and do exactly this layout if you want to. Um, but I, I don't want to bore you to death. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we did the important part of putting um, the pages into the album 
Um, so that's good. And maybe you'll get yours the right way around. Although, you know, it's not really the right way. It's the way I wanted to do it. But you know, I, I'm going to fly with it. It'll be fine. Okay, so I'm sorry if this has been long-winded. But um, I did want to show you sort of in one go how you could make this little album. It, I didn't want to drag it out over a lot of videos. But I will see you in the next video when I have finished this and we'll do a flip through and I'll show you how all of these pieces went in there. So thank you very much for your time today, guys, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Um, I really appreciate you sticking around and watching my videos. Um, and I love it when I see what people have made using my SVGs. It just, it just makes me feel so happy. <laughs> okay. Um, subscribe please do drop a comment if you'd like to and um, I'll see you guys again real soon thank you bye bye